Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. More than a thousand buildings were damaged after a tornado barreled through parts of Kansas on Friday. The town of Andover took a direct hit. I looked up and some of the the flooring for the upstairs was ripped up and I could only see just debris flying in the distance. I'm just glad to be alive. Amazingly, there were no fatalities and no one was critically hurt. Last night's chase in Arden Arcade started with deputies responding to a call of someone violating a restraining order and possibly stalking. The suspect driving a U-Haul led Sacramento County deputies on a chase that ended in the restaurant's parking lot. He was arrested inside. Funeral arrangements announced for 15-year-old Alicia Renaga. She's a stag high school student killed in a random stabbing attack on campus. Visitation is set for Tuesday with her funeral the following day at Cathedral of the Annunciation. COVID lockdowns causing problems for China's May holidays. Restaurants in Beijing have been ordered to close dine-in services. Parks and entertainment venue are allowed to operate only at half capacity. The Israeli military has arrested a pair of Palestinians who allegedly shot and killed a security guard at the entrance of a Jewish settlement in the occupied West Bank. Tension in the area have soared recently. 15 Israelis and 27 Palestinians have been killed in fighting in recent weeks. A landfill fire in New Delhi is sending smoke and toxic fumes into nearby neighborhoods. Some have had to leave after suffering health issues. One half of the Grammy-winning duo, the Judds, has died. Winona and Ashley Judd today announced the death of their mother, Naomi, saying they lost their mother to the disease of mental illness. Naomi Judd was 76 years old. Bill Murray says his behavior towards a woman led to the suspension of production on his latest film. Murray said he did something that he thought was funny, but that it wasn't interpreted that way. He says he and the woman are trying to make peace. The annual Sacramento Autorama is back after a COVID hiatus. 15 to 20,000 people are expected to check out 1,000 cars on display at Cal Expo. Tomorrow is the final day of the event. Palisades Tahoe has extended ski season through May 30th thanks to late spring storms. After May 1st, the resort will only be open on weekends. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.